Nick, what did you make of all this yesterday? Man, Chris called me yesterday around 5 o'clock when all the news was filtering in and didn't even say hi, just was laughing. And I knew exactly what was going, what he was calling about. It, this, this period in Antonio Brown's life, I don't know when this will happen, but at some point he's going to look back on with enormous regret, with I think it will cause him pain. You thinking, can't guarantee that. Well... I would be, it's going to cost him, I think, I think this is going to cost him at least $25 million, if not the full $30 million. Yeah, I'm not I, saying that. I'm just saying that, that he's going to be reflective and treat the situation with some type of logic. Okay. Like, he, you, you're appropriating too a, much for this. And maybe I am appropriating And you've been doing logic. that, and I keep trying to tell you it's going to get worse, got, Nick. And, it's going to get worse, And Nick. it has now gotten to the point to where... In the Antonio Brown Mad Libs come to life after the saga of arrive to your first day at work in hot air balloon, can't practice because you freeze your feet in a cryogenic chamber, try to smuggle a hand-painted helmet onto the practice field. Two grievances with the NFL. Now we are to the point to where threatened to fight your boss and held back by the noted voice of reason, Vontez Perfect. We've all... Uh, he... I didn't agree with what he did in Pittsburgh, but I understood there was an objective. Get out, get somewhere, they will pay me money. Give me guaranteed money. And he achieved that objective. He has now done everything to undercut what he achieved, which was $30 million guaranteed. The only way that money goes away, and by the way, the Raiders have paid him $0. By my math right now, he's in the hole about $54,000 to the Oakland Raiders because they paid him no signing bonus. It was $500,000 if he did the offseason training. He didn't. And they have not paid him any salary for the season, obviously. He's now, the only way that money goes away is if you are suspended for conduct detrimental. The Raiders warned him with that letter and he responded to that by doing something that is the definition of conduct detrimental in front of co-workers threatened to fight your boss. Oh, it was in public. And so he now, now he is just at the mercy of the court. Now he is simply at the mercy of what does Oakland want to do? And you could, listen, Drew Rosenhaus is as good as anybody yet, even when his client does the indefensible defending it. He was not not defending Antonio there. He was just like, hopefully we can work it out. Hopefully this can come to a resolution. Well, he'd like to get paid too. Of course. 3% of 30 million that's about nine hundred thousand dollars that drew rosenhaus has on the line in this so i think this ends terribly you usually like i can't believe the divorce is going to happen before the honeymoon but it appears that that's where this is headed well i just hope that you talked about he's at the mercy of the court well the judge is john gruden and the whole football world should be watching because john gruden has tried to put himself off as a disciplinarian. That's what he did in Tampa Bay. That's why he suspended Keyshawn Johnson. He made Keyshawn Johnson go home for less than what's going on in Oakland. So now you've come out of TV, and I still think you're a TV star. But now it, it's, not, it's the moment of truth. You hired Mike Mayock. He came out of television. You made him the general manager. Now are you going to empower him to do his job? Everyone's got a right to be able to do their job. And Mike Mayock can't do his job unless Gruden gives him the power. After being threatened, assaulted by one of the players, Gruden's got to be able to do something to the player. Because Mike Mayock is not going to ever have any type of say around that locker room. Guys aren't going to respect him if Gruden does not back him up. I'll be surprised if Gruden backs him up. Gruden wants the player. Gruden wants the player on the field. And this is what they've invested in. I told you guys, one of the things about Gruden upset me. I know Amari Cooper. I've been knowing him since he was 16 years old. Impeccable character. Works hard. Man, wants to be a great player. Khalil Mack. Oh, my God. You will not hear anyone from high school, college, or in his days of dominating NFL say anything negative about him, his character, his work ethic. But you allow these guys to come leave your locker room and you invested and gave $30 million and empowered A.B. to take over. That's the culture that you want. You get what you pay for. So I ain't surprised at all. It will get worse. And if they bring him back into the locker room, this is one of many things before ultimately this is it's going to end up in a divorce. It's just a matter of when we're going to get there. So that's just it. At this point. 
don't go halfway. If you're if you're if you wrote that letter that he already that AB already posted, if you're threatening at this point to have all this information and hold all this information and do something, do something, because. But what is the something? Are you so saying suspend him? Suspend him for four I games? I don't think or releasing him? him. I think suspending him. And see, if, I, I'm sure it won't make a difference, but at least you can say we tried everything. We, we issued a warning. We then went ahead and suspended him. Nothing changed, and now releasing him. Of course, John Gruden wants the player on the field. He wants what they invested in. Three quarters of this well, is on the Raiders. It, they knew what they were buying when oh, they bought I, it. I did. No, no, no. To I, go ahead and complain now that. that they don't like the merchandise well, when they knew it was spoiled wait, 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 merchandise? Wait, hold on. You, no, no, you can't. Can't, three quarters of this, the majority of this is not on the Raiders. The majority of this is on well, well, No, 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 no. When you decide to bring that into your house, and then they, they controlled that. So whose fault is that? It is their, listen, they went into, they they bought the, I don't want to say bought the product. They, they, they traded for the player. I understand that. But even then, see, I know you were saying it was going to get worse. The Pittsburgh this Steelers has, and the Roonies met with AB privately. And they agreed we can't move any further. Pittsburgh said, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to keep it. What we're going to do, we're going to shop you. We're going to trade you. We're, we're, but we're going to not say anything. What does A.B. does? He posts a photo, mm -hmm. him and the owner, and starts talking about it. So from the beginning, Nick, like, this is all intel that's free to everyone. Agree. But when we, I, I just have to be fair with what I said when it happened and right now. When the Raiders traded for him. I knew there would be nonsense surrounding him, but I thought a third and a fifth or a player of that caliber, I think we all sat here and said he will be productive for them. He will be a pain, and he will be a headache and a distraction, but he will be productive. I don't think anyone thought it was on the board. He was going to be cut before the first game of the season. No, no one thought he was going to be boss. cut, but Chris Carter has been saying ever since they got A.B., ever since he's he's been empowered to do wrong, they gave him the $30 million. This is just the beginning. He would be lucky to be in Las Vegas. Now, it's not fair to the team. It's not fair to Carr, but I have been consistent about this. No, no one expected him before the first game, right. but I have been consistent 100%. that this is just the beginning. And right now, if Oakland put out to the league we will trade you Antonio Brown under his current contract for a conditional seventh round pick, meaning you can have him for free, but you assume the contract. Does any team sign up for it? I think the answer is no. Now, if he gets cut, will he get brought in by a team for a different contract? Almost assuredly, yes. But I think Antonio has done enough to where if you could just take him from Oakland, for with under 15 million this year, 15 million yeah, next year, Nick, I don't think any team. This is wants the thing, that. Nick. I disagree with you, man. This league is crazy, man. I have seen dudes. I'm talking about real crimes, bro. He hadn't committed any crimes. And teams have tried to sign them and or sign them, and they go on to play in the NFL after these events. So to think that A.B., because he threatened the general manager, oh, he's getting ready to be out of football? Oh, no, absolutely not. This is one of the reasons why I was upset about Kaepernick. Man, you got all these really edgy guys playing, but because a guy protests, Peacefully, mm -hmm. he can't play. A.B., if they cut him, he will be playing somewhere else. Oh, oh I agree. I, I thought I said that. If they cut him, he'll be playing somewhere else. I don't think anyone would uh, take on his contract along with him. I think if he gets cut and you get him for $3 bucks, the team will take a chance on him. But if the Raiders, before cutting him, said, we'll trade you Listen, for nothing. this is 100% the Raiders' fault. All you got to do is go out there and do the research. And Mike Mayock, this kid, was forced on him by John Gruden. 100%. On the Raiders, no one else. You can't expect a bad juvenile kid to come into your house and then all of a sudden he's going to have table manners? Absolutely not. You get what you deserve, and it's 100% the Raiders' fault. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.